Hey, good morning once again, FCF. It is day six in our eight-day journey in our second week where we're looking at descriptions and images of Christians given in Scripture. Today I'm going to take you to the book of 1 Peter, chapter 2, verse 5, and we're going to read a couple descriptions. Peter says, You yourselves as living stones, there's the first description, we're stones, stones as in a temple, but we're alive. You yourselves as living stones are built up as a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood to offer spiritual sacrifices that are acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. So we have three descriptions there. We're living stones or stones that are alive. We're a spiritual house as we corporately identify with Christ and one another. And then we're a holy priesthood. We're supposed to offer up spiritual sacrifices. So let's look at some of these terms a little more carefully. Um, the first one, again, it's looking back to the Old Testament and it's looking at the temple. The temple was a spectacular building built out of stones as well as other things. But it says now God's building this new temple. It is the place now in the Old Testament, the temple was the place where God's presence was manifested, where the truth about God and the truth about life could be attained at the highest level possible in those days. But now, now because Christ has come, the, the, the creator of the universe has come and revealed the truth about God comprehensively, we don't go to a stone building anymore to learn about God. No, we've got the full truth, the comprehensive truth about God in Christ. And therefore, we are to be those that manifest this truth. We are, we are a different kind of, of a building. A different, we're living stones. We're not dead stones in a temple. We're alive as followers of Jesus. And we are now the ones that God manifests the truth, to the, the truth about Himself to the rest of the world. Then it calls us a spiritual... A household or a spiritual building this looks at us as we gather united we identify with one another you're a Christ follower I'm a Christ follower you're my brother you're my sister we will spend eternity together we learn to function together we learn to push forward the move of God's kingdom on this earth Jesus gave a very clear uh, chore to each of his followers he said go into all the world make disciples of all nations baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Teach them to obey everything that I've commanded you and I'm with you always. Lo, I'm with you always to the end of the age. So now uh, corporately we unite together. We each play a role in seeking to build disciples, to bring others back to a trusting relationship with God. And then the last image, it's that of a holy temple. Again, corporately, corporately together as we learn to respect one another and care for one another and forgive one another and encourage one another and work together, all these things manifest the life of the Spirit of God in each one of us in a unique way, showing Christ alive in us to each other and to the rest of the world. All this, all this is incorporated when we use that term that, that I'm a Christian, I'm a Christ follower, I'm one that's been born of the Spirit of God, I'm a member of the body of Christ. These are great terms and they all carry great weighty truth. And it says that we're to offer up spiritual sacrifices. We don't offer up animal sacrifices anymore like in the Old Testament, no. We as a spiritual priesthood today, we offer up the sacrifices of praising God, of telling people the truth about God, His goodness, His trustworthiness. We offer up the sacrifices of seeking to build bridges between those that don't yet know the truth about God and have not yet returned to Him in trust. And we try to build that bridge so they can know the truth about Him and come to their own conclusions of trust in Him. That's the kind of spiritual sacrifices we offer up today. I hope you are fully walking in your identity as, as a, a, a part of the, the temple of God, as part of a, the priesthood of God, and I hope you're offering up spiritual sacrifices. We can do that each and every day. We can start with just thanking God and praising Him and expressing the truth about Him every opportunity we get. Let's pray. We pray, Father, that these, these pieces of the puzzle that give us the comprehensive picture of the identity that you've given us as your people in this life, that they will take root in our souls, that they will, they will stir us, they will inspire us, they will give us clear pictures of the life that we can live, that we're called to live, that we can manifest to others. We ask all this in Christ's name. Amen.